Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the printing issue when you're attempting to add a printer. And it says that Windows cannot connect to the printer. Operation failed with error 0x000003E3. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, or go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select the file and then import option and then navigate to the file location on your computer. So again, pretty straightforward process on that. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Double click on the H key local machine folder on the left side. Do the same thing now for the system key. So double click on that. Should be a current control set folder in here. Double click on that. Same thing for the control folder. Go down to the print folder right here. Double click on it. Should be in an environments folder. Double click on that. Windows times 64. Double click on it. Should be a drivers folder in here. Double click on that as well. And it should be a version minus sign or dash 3. Just left click on that one time. If you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder that we went under to get to this point. You actually will double click on the version 3 folder in here. The last one we're going to go ahead and expand. And then select the Microsoft Enhanced Point and Print Compatibility Driver. You want to locate the Printer Driver Attributes D word value in here. Double click on it. And you want to set the value data to number 1. So delete whatever's in there. Type in 1, base should remain hexadecimal, and then select OK. And then once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and actually close out of here and restart our computer. And now you want to open up the search menu, type in services, best match, or come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to locate the print spooler service. Go ahead and double click on it. If service status is running, go ahead and stop it. And then start. And if it was stopped, you want to go start it and then stop and then start it again. Just basically do a full cycle here. But you want to make sure it ends up in the running position so that it is turned on. It sets to automatic and it is running here. And then again, select apply and OK. And then hopefully this point of issue should have been resolved. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.